can stop me Cause I'm addicted to what you and I realize I'm a problem I'm a PhD. You could hear the cholesterol in her voice. The streets. I'm a bitch from the streets. I get the money. I get the money. Bitch, give me what you got. <laughs> I'm a PhD. What it do, baby? Let's go. What it do, baby? You better squad. We in here. Let me fix my mic. It's terribly out the way. Shout out to the chat. I see y'all down there. I see y'all did over there. I just gotta fix this mic. What's going on? I think I just saw my shine. Make sure you guys subscribe to Michonne's channel. Y'all already know she family. I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. <laughs> Shout out to the squad. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all know what we got to do? It. I'm happy to see you guys early on a Monday. Let me see those locations in the chat. Your boy is broadcasting live from Detroit, Michigan. Let's get it. Locations in the chat. Let's go. Do better squad. We in here. Let's go. We all got in the building. We got in the building. Styles.973, I see you. You know I need you, bro, because I know you're from the streets. I'm a bitch from the streets. I get the money. I get the money. 
bitch, give me what you got. Big Shirley, I see you over there. You could hear the cholesterol in her voice. I'm a PhD. Shout out to the squad, man. Where are those locations at? I see Atlanta. I see Atlanta somewhere over there. Where's my Atlanta button? I gotta, I gotta stop adding buttons. Welcome to Atlanta where the play is played and we ride on them things like every day. Rest in peace to the Godfather. Let me see those Godfather. I want to see those pictures change to the Godfather. Y'all got time. We're going to be here for a minute. Leave the stream for a second. Change that picture. Come back. We ain't going nowhere. We here all day. Shout out to the squad, man. I see y'all. ATL, ho. What it do, baby? What it do, baby? November sun. What it do, baby? What it do, baby? Mona D. What it do, baby? What it do, baby? Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Janesta, I know you were here somewhere. What it do, baby? Happy to see y'all. We in here. Let's get there. You go, Janesta. I knew you was in here somewhere. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Let's go. Where's my thing? Oh, there we go. Calgary, Canada. I got to get something from Canada. I see you. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone is good. Rest in peace to the Godfather. You know, you got to do that. Where's my, where's my buttons at? I've got too many buttons up here. That's what it is. What's going on, everybody? Let's see what we got going on in the chat. Who we got? Shout out to J. Will. Tell me, J. Will. Shout out to D. Sam. You top of the morning to you, bro. Top of the morning. Top of the morning, Governor. That's right. It's time for biscuits and hot tea. Again, if you guys don't have Kevin Samuels in your picture, we got time. Go ahead. Go, go fix it and come back, man. Ain't no big deal. Shout out to the homie Gabe Zat. Shout out to Styles.973. November Sun. Who else we got? Look like I got a Jorge. What's that? Jorge Lopez? Oh, is this Jorge or George, man? Let's see here. Kevin will always be remember. Shout out to you, Mr. Lopez. Shout out to you, bro. Brian, what's going on? Shout out to Baltimore. I have way too many buttons. Make sure y'all sure hit the light like button. Team Peterson, what's good, yo? Messy Michonne. Make sure you guys subscribe to Michonne for sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm a PhD. Sounds stupid now as it did then. <laughs> Facts, bro. I just put that on there last night for this. I'm a PhD. I was going to add a whole bunch of sound bites to Kevin, but I only added a couple. But yeah, absolutely. Detroit 313. Yeah, yeah today is 313 days. Oh, oh. Hey, welcome to Detroit City. I said welcome to Detroit City. I was hesitant saying that because I, I heard it over the radio. If it wasn't for the radio, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. I see those super chats. I'm going to grab those in one second. Shout out to Messi Michelle for the super chat. Oh, I love this, man. This song just never gets old, bro. It never gets old. Shout out to Messi Bashar for the super chat. She says, happy birthday to the Godfather. You're absolutely right. Appreciate you for the uh, uh, super chat, Michelle. Make sure you guys subscribe to Michelle's channel as well. You guys likely already have, but if you haven't, make sure you guys check it out. Then shout out uh, to, to the homie Gabe Zat. What Gabe says? Where's my money, bitch? Gabe didn't say that. He says... Uh, Rip Kevin Sanders. Rest in peace to the Godfather, man. Absolutely. Man, I'm happy to see all you guys. Rest in peace to the Godfather. Glad to have all you guys here. I see those uh, AV. Shout out to Smoke and Talk. I see you. I see you guys uh, representing for the Godfather, man. That's good to see. That's good to see. Let me get into a little bit of house cleaning, man, that we can get into it. We can get into it real quick. Um, Let's see. Just make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. We got the uh, cash app to support the show and as well as super chat. Oh, and I'm going to need the support today because this video is definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap, B. <laughs> it's a wrap. I'm playing the KS. Don't have a license. We definitely going to hold for that one. <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. And then I had to give a few cash app shout outs as well to um, Mona D and my sexy strong. They sent me uh, some ca a couple cash apps yesterday. I was doing a live stream, free game Sunday, where I was just talking content creating. And uh, I, did, I missed it while I, I was doing the show so appreciate uh shout out to Mona D and my sexy strong make sure you guys are subscribed to her channel both of their channels and then also to the homie Mark uh, Von Mears he uh sent me a cash up as well he repping Tennessee I gotta get something for Tennessee all I got is for me Mr. 
Mr. Poom Basic says, I'm in Detroit, about to go to the airport in the snow. Yeah, shout out to you, bro. I remember you did say you came into the D. But it's light work, man. There ain't really no snow, snow today, man. You'll get there. You'll get there safe, man. Be, be smooth, man. Might hit a little bit of uh, rush hour traffic, but you'll be all right, man. Safe travels, bro. Shout out to Sean Taylor, South Carolina in the building. 513, the Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, excuse me. Shout out to the homie Jermaine, too. He be repping the Cincy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you in Detroit in the building. Shout out to all my Detroit. All my Detroit. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Detroit City. I said welcome to Detroit City. I'm laughing at this dumbass sound bite. Derek got me. Got me stuck on my soundboard. Shout out to Memphis. Shout out to you guys. So, um, if you guys may have... Uh, hit us with that order. Who's that? Uh, Project, shout out to Project Leroy. I see you, bro. You say you can be cloud watching. You working. You know I got you, bro. You know I got you, man. I added more buttons. I got more buttons in on my on my soundboard than goddamn keyboard. Order! <laughs> order! 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 Shout out to Vince, man. Top of the morning, governors. Right. It's time for biscuits and hot tea. Shout out to the homie. Uh, shout out to Randall. Randall, my day one sub. Shout out to Randall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. <laughs> shout out to Elaine. Shout out to Claudius. Shout out to Claudius. Represent all the way from Australia. I got to get some for you, bro. <laughs> oh, sorry. I hit the wrong button. I was thinking with Australia, but I automatically went into like, <laughs> like a dingo ate your baby type shit, <laughs> which I don't think is cool. <laughs> subscribe to you guys. Grand Rise. Shout out to Bella Rings. Be sure you guys subscribe. Moderators, go ahead and drop those links. Oh, random thought. I'm going to end up taking a lot of wrenches one day. <laughs> I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start throwing it out here now. If you guys ever watched The Walking Dead with Rick Grimes, he used to say this um, when he had beef with somebody. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, but one day I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I said I ain't gonna kill nobody, but I'm gonna take wrenches one day. <laughs> y'all go log in one day and be like, "What the fuck?" So I'm telling y'all now. It might be six months from now, but I'm gonna start telling y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Then once the, I'm gonna tell y'all for three months. Then once the day happens, motherfuckers still be shocked, man. <laughs> But yeah, for now, everybody still got theirs, man. So appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to Smoke and Talk, and then we can get into it. So what I wanted to do was, you know, Mr. Sammy's birthday. You know, definitely show him some love. I, uh, if you guys can, change your uh, pictures to Kevin, Kevin Sammy's just for the day. You, you know, change it back to whatever tomorrow. Uh, but so what I had was a couple videos for Kevin, Kevin Sammy's that I haven't seen. Uh, I, excuse me, I haven't actually seen myself yet. They're uh, from the men. I think there was like for Men's Week he did, and I know one of the videos was real popular, but I just never saw it, so I'll come blind react to it. And then right before that, we get to that. Um, I got a super chat here, but uh, we got beef. We got <laughs> we got beef, yo, bang, bang, bang. it's good. Yeah, so we some so somebody made a video about your boy, so I found that out yesterday, and I thought it was pretty uninterested, but I thought I'd share it anyway. To be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, um, shout out to the homie Klaus representing, um, excuse me, Australia. Shout out to you, bro. He says, I found out never fart while getting <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> That's a good lesson to learn, bro. You only got to learn it once, more than likely. Shout out to you. Appreciate the super chat. And then, uh, yeah, man, shout out to Australia, you guys. So, so let's get into it, right? So, man, let me see. Let me see. I probably could just share the screen. It's on my community tab. I posted it yesterday when I found out that somebody apparently made a video uh, about me. But I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I saw the video, when I didn't even—I haven't watched the video, and I won't watch the video to be honest with you. Oh, uh, but when I saw it, I immediately th thought like, "This shit ain't worth responding to." <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. I'm gonna share my screen if you guys haven't uh, saw. It. Give me one second here. I want to share my screen. And I hope you guys had a good weekend, man. I hope you guys got a good weekend. Bear with your boy half a second here. Let me go share screen. Let's see. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, so that's, um, so that was his, uh, let me get this chat out the way. So I just saw, somebody told me, I can't remember who it was, it uh, Alina? Somebody told me in the chat yesterday, like, uh, this guy made a video about you. So that's his thumbnail. And it reads, um, if you can't see it, Manosphere podcaster repulsed by black goth girls uh, body modification. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but we got beef, man. I thought that was pretty funny. Just giving y'all a look at the um, at the thumbnail here. So, yeah. And uh, I was going to say a couple things. I posted on the community tab. I'm not going to lie. I was uh, I was uh, 
like he trolling a little bit just to really tell y'all that anything because i don't plan to respond to it and there's a couple reasons why let's see uh the first reason is i don't give a fuck <laughs> that's the first reason as soon as i saw it i was like i don't care i was just like i really was like i don't care man that was the first thing um project leroy says uh what do you say Move my thing here. That video was unseasoned. <laughs> oh, bro. I did. Oh, you all, y'all watched it? <laughs> y'all watched it? I didn't even watch it, bro. So that's another thing. He said it's it unseasoned. Project Lee, me, Project Lee, me, me and you here, bro. We here like we done met bef before, man. Yeah, absolutely, bro. I already know what you said. And then the other reason is, man, I'll be 40 this year, man. I kind of feel like I'm too old for that shit. And um, let's see. And the other thing, this is not just uh, what's going on, Big Smooth. I see you guys. Uh, and it's not even just like, you know, Kevin Samuels to say it as well. Um, but I don't believe in beef. If I'm not going to beef with any, nobody on the internet, that's one. And then two, I damn sure ain't going to beef with nobody who looks like me. And I think this is his dude right here on the right. That's his picture. And I think under all the bullshit face tattoos, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he looks like me underneath all that bullshit. So I'm not going to do it, man. And I'm not going to give him the shine either. That's another thing. His channel was real small. So I'm not going to give him the shine. But the main point I want to uh, make out, out of all this, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if it was somebody else in the man, it's funny because he called me a Manosphere podcaster. And I was like, am I that? <laughs> I, kinda think, I think I had a little self-realization right there in the moment. I was like, I guess I kind of am, aren't I? And, uh, but yeah, that's my main point. I don't really give a shit because I can already tell. I'm going to grab those super chats. I can already tell. This is a feelings-based argument. This is going to be a feelings-based argument. So what's the point of even having it? Derek Gaines says, I never heard of KS until he passed. If I had found out who he was, I would have saved me a lot of bull. I never heard a black man speak like him. Facts, man. Facts, man. Yeah, this is Unfortunately, a lot of people didn't find out to KS until his passing. I got lucky. I found him after the video, the average at best uh, went viral. Excuse me. That was when I first found him. Yeah, Theo. <laughs> yeah, Theo. That, uns that unseasoned beef about God. Yeah, man. And here's the thing. Because, and, oh, and this is another reason I was, that I was going to throw this as well. Here's another reason. So, uh, another reason I haven't watched the video and I won't respond to it. So, the video that he's reacting to that I did with this tattoo lady, that video was a seven-minute video. It was a seven-minute video that I made in my entire in its entirety. And it's my highest view video. It just cracked over hundred thousand views. So, that was a seven-minute video. In that seven minute video, I talked about the tattoo lady at the very end. So it was a two minute video, specifically on the on the on the malnourished vampires people come to call her. That's it was a two minute video. Homie video, I looked, was 25 minutes. I was like, oh hell no, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nowadays, Theo Coop has the attention span of a chicken nugget. I am not about to sit up here and watch a 25 minute video, even about myself, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good, man. Make that shit a short, bro. <laughs> Leave me the, uh, give me the recap about that shit. So that's it, man. But yeah, I just thought that was pretty funny. I put that out on the community tab. People's like, yeah, yeah, Theo, go in, go in, make a video. I'm not making a video about this dude, man. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really even care. Jay Will says, I can't beef with someone. I can't beef with someone I can make fun of in the first few seconds of me looking at them. But I'm actually going to take them serious. Facts, man. Facts. Hey, hey. It's good. And I'm looking at the dude's face because, and I go lie, I did go in on, on a chick because it was a blind reaction. The video popped up, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, it, I gave you my natural reaction, and that's why I think the video took off. That video brought me in so many new viewers. It got over 100,000 views. It, I, it brought me in so many new viewers, and people was like, it was my reaction to it. And that's what kind of, you know, and that's why it ended up being a pretty good video. But I thought at the same time, just looking at his thumbnail, this is a dude with a, with, with, Face tattoos like a son of a bitch. And apparently goth. I didn't even know black goth was, was a thing because I think that's the, I, I'm assuming that's going to be the crux of his argument is that, you know, I'm going at black goth, which I didn't even know was a thing. You know, I just kind of thought goth was, but whatever, man. I don't really give a shit. And uh, yeah, that's that, man. I just don't, it's going to be a feelings-based argument because he is the person that we're talking about. These people who do all this shit for the attention, then they get attention that they don't like or people looking at them weird and they, Joel said it the best, man. I, I should have brought his comment up here, man. But Joel said it the best. I'll read it. Because I put in the community tab, should I say anything? And I think Joel said it the best. I said, should I respond? Joel says, if you want, I personally would not waste time on, on this reaction. This woman looks like a jackass, the, the lady I was describing in the video. 
and I'm entitled to, and I'm entitled to that opinion just as you are entitled to your own. Reacting would be a waste of time. God started narcissistic fools who think society should give them special treatment based on how they choose to look. They can pretend they are not consequences. They can pretend there's not consequences for their acts, for their decisions all they want. But you but you at least knew there would be consequences of making videos. Uh, he's talking about me now because I said in the, the description. I knew somebody would make a video about me. I tell you guys all the time, if you make uh, videos on make content creation, somebody going to make a video about you. So I knew it was bound to happen. And um, he says, you knew there would be uh, consequences to making videos, even if you did not think this would be the video to get a response. And yeah, that's the best That's the best way because I never thought that would be the video. I never thought that. I thought somebody would get mad at, at a Kendra video or something like that. Shout out to you, Carl. Pooh, man, I see you, bro. It's... Uh, is Black got the real thing? Serious, serious, bro. Facts, man. Facts. Bang! Bang! It's good. And for, the, for people who don't know, me and Pooh Man in the same city. We're in Detroit. So I said the same thing, Pooh Man. I was like, Black Goss exists? I didn't even know that was a thing, man. But apparently it is. Let me grab these super chats. You guys send me a couple super chats and we'll get into it, man. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe to uh, 10 Plus Sounds. 10 Plus, did I rent you up? I think I did. Make sure you go ahead and uh, drop your link as well. Uh, Tim Plus Sounds, he makes the, the good background jazz, uh, lofi hip hop, good background music for studying. Excuse me, I use it while I'm editing video all the time. So shout out to you, bro. Shout out to November Sun. Shout out to November Sun. November Sun gets a Memphis drop. Where, where is that at? I added some more cities, but I can't remember what they are. Uh, shout to November Sun. She says, rest in peace to the Godfather. Rip to the Godfather, everybody. Rip to the Godfather. <laughs> appreciate the super chat, um, November Sun. I really appreciate it. And I gave you a shout out as well. I don't know if you heard the other day when you sent me that uh, PayPal. Uh, I like to give people shout outs and hopefully they hear them. So <laughs> appreciate you, uh, November Sun. Let's see. <laughs> We got <laughs> uh, Project Leroy says I watched ninety seconds of it and moved on. <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts. I was I, 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 I you know what I was gonna uh, fix my mouth and lie. Say I wanted to watch. It. I wasn't even tempted to watch that shit, especially when I saw it was twenty five minutes. I said no, 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 no. <laughs> you got better things he can be doing. I'd be editing another video, <laughs> another another tattoo freak video. <laughs> But I do remember that video. I remember after I edited, I did feel a little bad because I did call her a tattoo freak. And I went to her TikTok. She's tatted up like crazy, but the lady was extremely nice. But hey, man, I got to make content. Man, sometimes you got to make a joke or two. And if somebody get offended, they just get offended. Shout out to the homie Clarence Carr. Uh, he's representing a certain city, but I can't think of the name of it right now. Shout out to the homie Clarence. Clarence says, salute Kevin Simons. We definitely lost a man that had a lot of Jews to share facts, bro. Facts, man. <laughs> Shout out to, to the homie Clarence, man. I hope your weekend was good, bro. Yeah, man, no doubt, man. It's, it's sad, man. Kevin Samuels passing, man. I'm never one of those people, man. Celebrities die. That shit doesn't phase me, man. Like, just because I, I don't believe. I've always been that way. I remember being a kid. I'm the date, I'll be 40 this year. I remember being a kid in 1996 on a school bus to middle school when they announced that Tupac had got killed. I was 13. I'll never forget this shit because my sister was on the bus with me and her friend, I don't remember her friend's name, but I remember her friend was crying. And I remember 13 year old Theo turned to her and was like, why are you crying? You don't even know this motherfucker, man. Like, <laughs> I probably didn't say him ever, but I remember saying that to her. So my whole point is that I never cared about celebrities, man. Even when I passed, even when I you know, was much younger, it's just something I never understood. People. People's obsession with celebrities has just never been my thing. But Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels, and I also think Kobe Bryant, I think Kobe kind of shook me too, man, because it was just so unexpected. But I think Kevin Samuels, probably, yeah, Kobe's probably the only other person. But Ke when Kevin Samuels passed away, it was like the first time a celebrity passed away. And I was like, wow, man, like it hit home for me. I remember me and my sister was texting that day. And she was like, it's not real. And we were texting back and forth. And then I was watching content creators. And I knew as soon as I saw Anton Daniels say what it was, and then Melanie King was on like a fucking 72 hour <laughs> <laughs> death stream. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. KS was with KS, and, and, I, and I just thought about it while I was t talking about it. What's going on, Carl? KS, and I believe as well, Kobe Bryant was like the first like celebrity deaths that really hit me. Uh, He'll hit that 100,000 views. Oh, yeah, bro. And it's crazy, man, because I got two videos now, man. I was just talking about this on the um, stream yesterday. We were talking content creating. Uh, I was. 
couple months ago, I was feeling to have one video get over get fifty thousand views, and I that was and I just had two videos hit hundred thousand views, man. Yeah, I got over eleven million views on my ch on my channel, man. It's crazy. Shout out to you guys. We gonna get the day started. We gonna definitely get uh the day started. Hold on one sec. Oh, real quick, we got a super chat. A black goth. It's like seeing a gay line. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna hit you with another one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm funny, man. They're so. Uh, appreciate the super chat, uh, Darius. Representing the A, man. I got, you know, I got something for you, bro. Peace up, Peace A Town. Yeah, yeah. Facts, bro. Facts, man. That's just something I hadn't considered. But again, I don't even give a shit. And then Michonne came and left me a, a, uh, a comment as well. It was like, hey, don't. It, it, it pretty much alluded to something I already knew. I didn't know of. I didn't hear it from the masterminds cl class, but I just kind of noticed about life. You beef up, baby. You don't beef down, man. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like elitist or some shit, but dude, dude has, I don't forget, like 300, he has less than a thousand subscribers, man. What would I look like just going at this dude? Like, you motherfucker, like, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit, man. If your beef was, if it, if it was, if it was more facts based instead of feelings, we can, we can get into that to it. Damn, bro. Uh, you know, I would have brought the grill out. <laughs> Fire ass in them comments. Yeah, man. And another thing as well. Another <laughs> thing as well, Styles Boy. I didn't want, I didn't want to be like, make a video and then, Motherfuckers rushing over to his channel to light him up. No, man, because he's a small YouTuber as well. Make your content, bro. Make your content. I'm just not watching a 25-minute video on a two-minute segment, bro. <laughs> People got short attention spans. I'm getting, I'm giving him a tip as a content creator. Shorten the content, bro. Shorten the content. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I took his pass. Gigi said, shout out to Gigi. I don't remember ever seeing you, Gigi. Shout out to you. Shout out to all the ladies in the chat. I, oh, man, I, I think a sound button's on the fly. I need a, hey, ladies. I need that. Because there'll be a bunch of ladies in here. Oh, um, Gigi says, I took his passing hard, extremely hard, personally. His legacy will live on. However, happy birthday to the Godfather. Rest in peace to the Godfather. Where is that thing at? I need to stop moving somebody in my butt. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the closest. I've never, like, cried from, like, a celebrity. Um passing or anything like that. Theo's not much of a choir, if you can't tell. Like, I'll, you know, funerals is pretty much when you're going to get tears out of me. That's pretty much about the only time. But I was close, man. I was, it was it was, it was, was extremely, I took, it, I took it very hard, very hard, because, you know, it's one of those things when it's unexpected. And then, you know, I had the conspiracy theories. I had, to, I had to, I, you know how many times I had to stop myself from making videos on conspiracy theories because I wouldn't look like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I said it before as well, and we'll get to the video right after this, I promise, that I heard John Oliver, the comedian, um, so, you know, he was the, the Daily Show. I heard him say years ago about him being in shocked once Princess uh, Diane died back in the day. And people always formulate like conspiracy theories because it's unexpected when someone you uh, admire. Yeah, admire is probably a great way to put it. It's unexpected when people when, it, when it's just a sudden death. So and it's, so people tend to because their minds basically he was just alluding to how people tend to think in conspiracies and things like that when an unexpected death happens because. Um, you just wasn't expecting it. You can't wrap your mind around it. But, you know, you know, unfortunately, you know, but his legacy is going to live on. And it's crazy because I make I always reacted to Kevin Samuels because it was good content and I enjoyed it. And I watched a ton of it before I even started making content. So that was always my goal. So my goal was just to react to his content because I thought it was good content. But I think something that's been dope and something that I hadn't considered is people say People leave me comments saying, thank you for keeping his legacy going. And that was not my intention. Like, I didn't think of it like that. I just thought of it as good content, something that we could react to. I never thought about that I would play a, a Paul, a, 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 um, a role, even though it's extremely insignificant. It's extremely small. I'm not, I don't lack self-awareness. I understand that I'm, I'm 1%, probably half a percent on the, you know, on the whole scale. But it is touching that people look that way. So appreciate your guys. Let's get to it. <laughs> Let's see. Shout out to Smoking Talk. I see you, bro. Shout out to Mona D. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Mona D's channel. We need to get Mona D. We need to get Mona D. We need to get everybody who's not monetized to 1,000 subscribers. Mona D just cracked 400. We need to get that up. And then Chelsea as well. I don't know if Chelsea in it here, but I want to get Chelsea's close. Chelsea's close to like 1,000. I would really like one day for us to bum rush her channel. And I think she has uh, like 890 or close to 900. I would really like one day for, for her to be in here. We all bum rush her channel. We do that for everybody. Bum, uh, you know, rush over to the channel and get everyone uh, up to, you know, monetization. So let me grab these super chats and we get into it. Shout out to the homie MOP. What you got going on, bro? Shout out MOP representing Wilmington, Delaware. MOP says, rip Kevin Samuels. Uh, F these mis misguided 304. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, man. 
Appreciate the super chat, MOB. Hope you're staying healthy, bro. Let's see. Shout out to the homie Eric Jordan, man. Shout out to you, bro. I'm rich, bitch. The homie EJ says, rep to the GOAT, the Godfather Kevin Savage, bro. A, bro, a legend. Facts, man. Facts, man. It's unfortunate, man, because we still... Excuse me. I feel like he... he. I think that he accomplished so much in a short amount of time. What's going on, Salty uh, Fighter Biker? I see you, bro. I see you. Shout out to all my Cali boys listening mad early on the on the West Coast. I appreciate all y'all rocking with your boy. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's just unfortunate. It seemed like he left us way too early. But at the same time, you know, his legacy is to live on, man. Look how many channels, I mean, look how many people he has inspired, you know, to get into content creating. Not only just content creating, just becoming an overall better person. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Tim Plus out. He should have made a three-minute video. Facts, bro. <laughs> Facts. I'm telling you, Tim Plus. And I thought about it as soon as I saw it. I was like, Theo, you are getting bad with your attention span. You won't watch a 25-minute video on you? Like, no, I won't watch a 25-minute video on Jesus, bro. <laughs> I watched a three-hour Mashan stream, though. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, man. Let's get to the video, man. Let's get to the video. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for the super chat, man. Let's get into it. So the first one, uh, I know KS is talking to a bit of a bum type dude, but I didn't. I'll make sure I didn't uh, make sure I didn't get a cash. I'm almost terrible at doing that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's get to the first video here. <laughs> he should have made a three-minute video. Facts, bro. Facts. Now, Clicky's gonna be on and ready to go. Make sure y'all hit the like button. All right. So here's the thing. What KS is talking about? Let's do this. All right, that's one person. I edited it out. I should have chopped this Two out. People. I was too busy getting flamed on by a tattoo dude. <laughs> I ain't get time to edit the video. Ishmael. Hit the like button for you, boy. Make sure you guys subscribe to Wave. Bella Rings as well. Wave if you're ready to go. I hear you, Mona. All right. Scott Free, I see you. All right. Hello? Hey, oh, let me get myself out the out this picture. And yeah, like I've seen bits and pieces of this one, but I've never seen this whole interview in its entirety. And the second one, I haven't seen at all. And I know the second one was the one that, that kind of went viral. Let me get my ugly mug out the way. And then I'll play the video. Where's it at? Okay, let me get myself out the way. Not that one. Not that one, you son of a bitch. Let's see here. My apologies, y'all. All right, there we go. Let's get to the video. I can smell the dust through my screen. Let's get to it. What's going on? Hit the like button you for your boys. How old are you? I'm 28. All right. What's the disagreement? Um, I don't feel uh, even if black men reach the certain level that they're uh, that we should aspire to reach. I don't think uh, the black women will follow us. I feel like 80 percent of them will still shit on us and uh, leave us well, hanging. Why? First of all, you said I feel twice. Facts. I called myself saying it just a second ago. I don't say I purposely don't say those words. I feel I don't I lost that in my vocabulary. See any issue with that? No. What's going on, Daniel? As a man, you shouldn't worry about how you feel. Oh, no doubt, Mona. You know I got you. So I was thinking what we do. It's one of the things we talk about women all the time. They always say, I feel, I feel, I feel. You guys can hear it, right? So what makes black women biologically different than any other group of women? Biologically? Yes. There is no difference. Then why not from not a biological perspective. Then why would they not respond to the same evolutionary biology type things? From what I've seen from anecdotal experience, uh great point kevin it's like it's it's a temporary it's a temporary con it's a temporary Wait, uh part reaction of you live in? i'm in atlanta atlanta yes sir so why does the divorce rate drop dramatically for black couples as well over an income of two hundred fifty thousand dollars? i didn't know that Maybe because you're not part of that group.
See, if you're going to say something like that, I'm <laughs> going to challenge it. Because basically what you're putting For out sure. here is you don't feel black women are going to, okay, I'll go with that. But why? Based upon what? It's uh, it's what I've seen my entire life. You know, black women have old. been my enemy my entire life. Me too, SP. They've been your what? My enemy. What do you mean your enemy? Um... I apologize, guys. Thanks, thanks, Derek. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, man. If I miss a, a super chat, definitely let me know. I, I, I almost missed. Shout out to CL. <laughs> CL been rocking with the channel for a minute too. CL says, uh, "Kevin Samuels' real channel will be releasing new content today." Facts, facts, facts. Bang! Bang! It's good. Thank you very much, CL. Yeah, if you guys don't know. They're supposed to be releasing new content on his channel. I think um, his normal time. Guys, let me know because I, I didn't. I watched a ton of Kevin Samuels content, obviously, but I wasn't really a live stream. I didn't really check in on the live stream. People who have like huge, like I don't know, maybe I'm just weird like that. People who have like so many people in the chat, like TLA, for example. I, I don't really like. Not that I don't like those live streams. I like to, to chat to be more intimate. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's 3,000 people in there, I just feel like it's too many people. So I never really checked into his live. But yeah, absolutely. Make sure you guys check in tonight. Shit, I'll be there. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Appreciate the super chat, CEO. Thanks, Derek, uh, for pointing it out to me as well. Um, whether it's me, whether it's people that I know or people that I'm even related to, uh, if there are strides towards uh, success that are being made, um, there's an active effort to uh, get in the way of the progress of what it is that we're doing. Like, honestly, like. What does that mean, though? You, got, you come in and say black women have been my enemy. You're going to have to give me a specific. So the Baltimore. OK. There you go, man. I'm trying, I trying recently, to. I recently uh, dated a woman who uh, was pursuing a dual doctorate degree in medicine and in chemistry. I'm and, a PhD. Uh, <laughs> throughout the entire relationship, uh, <laughs> throughout the entire relationship, the only time that we didn't have um, an argument or we didn't have any kind of ridiculous back and forth is when we were having sex. You know what I'm saying? Like how once the you? orgasm was how out, the you? Week, how do you? Twenty eight. And how long? Twenty eight. Okay? I've known her for eight years. Dated her for one. And you dated her to what end? What was, the, what was the intended outcome? So what I'm rich, bitch. Has a purpose. I was great uh, point, Joel. I was looking. Um, I was looking. Uh, I was interested in marrying her. You were dated her with sure. the, Okay, and what do you do for a living? I'm a musician and an Uber driver. What? Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo, what the fuck? This bitch. Ain't nothing wrong with a hard day salary getting however you live, but. Bro, you sound like you broke. <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounded like to me. So like you got issues more in the financial department. Uh, shout out to shout out to Almond Eyes. She says you were missing out. Lies, lies were fire, especially on IG. Yeah, I know Almond Eyes. And here's the thing: I always said this. I'm sure I checked in for like a second from time to time, but what I re uh, distinctly remember, um, I had it was me and my girl, me and my uh, my ex girlfriend. We were at, we were over at the house. We were in the kitchen, and I threw it on. I'll never forget. It was one of the only times I ever watched a live. We were in the kitchen, but it was playing in the dining room. Excuse me. And I don't know who he was talking to. I know this clip is, is out there somewhere, but he was talking to some woman and he said she looked like Young Thug. <laughs> he, then he started doing the, the, the uh, his Young Thug impersonation. We got Gunner on the track, bitch. I was done. <laughs> Me and my girls in the kitchen with tears in our eyes. I was like, who is he talking about? He was going in to calling somebody Young Thug. I thought it was the funniest shit in the world. Let's get back to it. Appreciate the super chat. What? I know. Are you serious? Are you trolling me? Ninja no, what? I'm not. Ninja what? You date. Your enemy is your pocketbook. There you go. <laughs> I know. Don't come here to talk about black women. Your, man, see? I mean, are you being serious, bro? Shout out to the Masons. I see y'all. Um, I am, but the finances is definitely something no, that I'm no, working no, on. No, 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 no. 
a black woman who's dating doing you you actually came in here to tell me that you dated a black woman who's pursuing two dual doctorates i'm a phd <laughs> and you're a guy yeah. uber driving your musician that's not a problem except you frame black women as your enemy and your enemy is your inability to be productive on a serious level that's not currently true for me well here's the thing I talked about what makes black women different on an evolutionary biological scale than any other group of women. You could not say that. I asked you about the decrease in the marital, the, the divorce rates over a quarter of a million dollars for a couple. You didn't know about that. You said from your anecdotal experience, but unless you make that, your anecdotal experience has been, respect yours. Well, so, okay, so outside of me, I have mentors that uh, I work with. My ultimate that point is that 28 that. years old, you're too young to be trying to talk about getting married anyway. Shout out to the Masons. See, you haven't found yourself. And if I go with what you said, your failure in relationships are justified by calling black women your enemy instead of looking in the mirror and saying, where am I at? I do where that every day. And why, and, and why, what makes, you said you were looking at her to be a, a, a wife, possibly. What makes you a husband? The point, the question. Outside, from what standpoint? Can you provide for a family? Not yet, no. Then, then, bro, then. It's you, it's you not women. You this woman with the eye to marry her and you couldn't even provide for a family. Your problem isn't the women, man. The problem, see, this is the problem with too many of us as black men. We look to, we, we, we don't have power. We're not trying to be serious. I mean, no disrespect, but I, I'm tired of hearing black men who are musicians and rappers and, and producers and actors and massage therapists and Uber drivers and chefs. Where's the trade? Where's the profession? Where's the real world? Something you walk into a chamber of commerce meeting with a business card and say, this is who I am and what I do to where other men will take you seriously. Was that rhetorical or did you want me to respond? No, nah, I'm asking you <laughs> because if you were to go into a chamber of commerce meeting on any on any given Tuesday or Thursday, how many musician Uber drivers do you think you'd meet that were non-black? None. All right. None. <laughs> it's not where I plan on staying or what I'm working towards in the future. I, I get it. I get that. However, you were dating a woman who is heavily degree facts woke will. and women respond to power unfortunately she dwarfed you in power potential so the only place you could dominate and show any power is in the bedroom because she did not have to take you seriously you weren't on the same level see and this is why i can't allow to stand when you come in here saying black women are this or black women are that, are you a competitive black man? Yes, I would say so. Competitive against who? Um, Against, uh, I guess, like people in my tax bracket. I don't want to stay here. I'm trying to get to the top 1%. Okay. Well, that's the main thing. Becoming a productive, competitive, successful man Men who are that way tend to have fewer problems because they have more leverage. Did you have That's any... something I realized watching your content. Well, so it's not black women. It's not women. You have little leverage in a relationship with a woman who's going to get two degrees. I'm rich, bitch! And I asked but what you, I'm saying is... you said I was I asked you, how long have you known her? Eight years. You've known her long enough to know who she is and what she's about. You said you were with her for one year. I said, to what end? You said to marriage, and you're not in a position to be a husband. Facts, you can't bro. provide for a family. You shouldn't have been in a relationship. <laughs> That's the ultimate answer. You shouldn't have been in a relationship. She should have been on out somewhere else dealing with somebody who wanted what she wanted, but you are not in a position to deal with any women to that end. Casually, socially, sure. We're talking about a wife. You can't provide. Um, okay, so that that goes against uh, stuff that you said previously, because what I make um, currently right now is average income. 
um, I average about 45,000 a year. Goes against what I've said. Um, you're saying that, uh, that in order for, for someone to even consider marriage, um, that they should be making in the top 1% or no, at least that. When have I, I like said that? When have I said that? Isn't that what you're saying right now? You're no, saying that no, because no, sir, that is not, no, no, you said, you said it conflicts with what I said and I asked you, what did I say? And you just said, well, aren't you saying in order to be married, you need to be in the top 1%. Do you understand? Uh, to you be completely. Understand? All right. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I'm I'm no, stop. no, 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 no. That's not what I said. That means that the only people who could get married are in the top 1%. I asked you, could you provide for a family? I didn't ask you how much money you made. I asked you and you said no. At 45000 I mean, it's not. Then that's all much. you need to know. You shouldn't be looking to marry anybody if you can't provide. Facts, facts. Shout out to homie Z Whiff. Z Whiff says, let me see. Let me get this for What's my money, bitch? <laughs> Z Whiff says, uh, for the plate, do better. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, Z Whiff. You know I got you. <laughs> Hold on one second. I think I got one more here. Let me grab it. Let me get right back to it. It's the end of this uh, video. Let's see here. Where'd it go? There we go. Uh, shout out to Almond Oz. Almond Oz says he is giving dude the business. What happened to all he does is bash black women. Five. Bang! Bang! It's good. You are 100% correct, Almond Oz. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What happened? All he does is that. All he does is that. It sounds like he's defending women more than anything. And that's something CL uh, dropped earlier as well. Th thanks for the super chat. And I said this earlier, uh, well, I said this before. One of my favorite KS, KS videos that recently um, has gotten probably around 70, 80,000 views was a video that I made six months ago. And it was a video when KS was talking to a woman who was trying to leave her husband because she had been listening to these um, upgrade or level up videos, level up videos. So a woman decided, I'm going to leave my husband. She was short, broke, fat with two small kids and thinking she's about to get a dime and the dude was going to swoop her up and just travel international. And Kevin Samuels broke that call down and had this woman on the brink of like tears from uh, realizing that she effed up. He didn't go hard on her. He just broke down her delusion and she took the information in. And that was my favorite Kevin Samuels call. That's my number one out of the hundreds, if not thousands of calls he had. That's my absolute favorite call. And he did not bash that woman at all. She realized the error in her ways during the call. And you love to see that. Unfortunately, it was uh, far and few between. So what's going on with the hell? I see you make sure you guys hit the like button. I told her that I needed time to build it up. It doesn't matter what you it. told her. You shouldn't have been yeah. with her. Okay. She was going for two. All right, man. See, and she got served to Bella problem. Rings as well. If you pick a woman who's going to school and getting dual doctorates, and you're an Uber driver and a musician, you're unequally yoked, man. You know that. And if you wanted her to wait on your potential, I think you're too young to be worrying about any of this stuff anyway. And what I'm hearing is a lack of maturity because you haven't got there yet. I'm rich, bitch. If 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 her if she had a father who was a productive, competitive, successful man, do you think he would have accepted you as an adequate son-in-law? Mm. No. Then what? It's not about her. I was saying black women in general. That was just the relationship. No, no, no but but we but see, you talk about black women in general, and just like with black women, I get specific. You can't talk about general if you can't handle it specifically in your life. You gotta you gotta focus on the man in the mirror before you focus on finding a woman, bro. That's basically what he's trying to tell you. You can't come in and saying that about black women being your enemy. How is that woman your enemy? Big smooth I feel bussy. like despite the things that I wanted How was to do, that woman your enemy? Every, uh, I mean, throughout the entire relationship, man, it was you a teardown. You shouldn't have been in a French Coast thing. relationship. I agree with you on that point. Take ownership and accountability for the fact that you shouldn't have been I trying do. to. No, you don't. I, I do. <laughs> he just hung up on him. He just hang up on him. <laughs> Let me get myself out there. Let me get myself out of the way. <laughs> I 
I missed the salute. I'm going to make a suggestion here. I've said this before that I don't care what women tell you, black women in particular, they want to date a man who can pay all of the bills. I don't make this the rule. That's just what it is. And if you cannot pay the majority or all the bills, don't be dealing with women who want to be able to pay all the bills. You can't come in and say that all the... <laughs> he let it go. He, 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 he let it go. He was about to go in. He was about to go in. And I think it's, it's absolutely some truth in that. And they talk about that, you know, some women don't like dudes that pay 50-50 or want dudes to pay all their bills. I say this, man. Go with somebody who has similar thought process. Don't be a dude that, that wants to split 50-50, but then chasing after chicks who are going to want you to pay 100% of their bills, man. It's hustling backwards. It's, it's, a waste of, it's a waste of futility. Shout out to the homie Klaus. What Klaus says. Where's my money, bitch? At 65, short, chubby male, broken neck, two strokes, what do women complain about? That's a great point, man. That's, that's, a, that's a great point. Hey! Appreciate the super chatting, bro. Rocking with me so late over there in Australia, man. Yeah, yeah, you're right, man. That's a that's a great point, man. That's a, that's, a, that's a great point. Let's get to the next clip, and like I said, this is the one that went that went a bit viral, and I have not. I, I saw it and said, hey, one day I'll react to it, but I just never ended up reacting to it. So, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. What's going on, Larry? I see you. I see you. That's it. L A is my uh, L A is my uh, B C, C day. I guess you meant B day. Oh, uh, no, it's Los Angeles. Excuse me. Los Angeles is your name. Is my C-Day too. Oh, B -day. Oh, I'm guessing your B-Day. I'm guessing that's what you meant. Oh, it's your B-Day. All right, make sure we give L.A., Los Angeles some love in the chat. I got a couple things for you, L.A. California. Then I got a happy birthday thing somewhere around here. Where is it? There you go. And happy birthday <laughs> to him. I don't care. Good luck. But Stephen A. Smith makes me laugh, bro. I need to add so many more Stephen A. Smith sound bites. Oh, I meant to hit this about the the guy who made the tattoo, uh, who made the video about me. I wanted to leave him this, uh, Joe. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. We, can, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith makes me laugh. <laughs> Let's see what Joe says. I'm not black, but it's heartbreaking to see black Americans constantly be discouraged from having families. As someone who grew up in a foster home, broken home, children centers, uh, middle figure. Facts, bro. Facts, man. Shout out to you. <laughs> I was Joel. That's why I know I rock with Joel, man. Because I left that uh, comment uh, in the community tab about that dude making a video. And Joe was like, Joe said what I was thinking. Like, dude, I wouldn't even waste my breath on that. And I was like, you're right, bro. <laughs> you're right. Damn, yo. You can't just jump on the, on the track with no resources, no true direction. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to. You, I 100% believe this. As a man, you need to have your shit together before you even approach a woman, man. And, I've, and I always say this. I think, I think both men and women, because we only focus on men on this aspect. But I thought think both men and women before you date anyone you should have what i've deemed the um holy trinity of adulthood a car a place to stay and a job bro <laughs> a car a place to stay and a job that's theo coop original the whole the holy trinity of adulthood which is not really that deep it's just kind of the basics but i think you should have that but i think you should have your shit together before you're trying to date anybody and i think it's the same thing as well women need to have that shit too because a bunch of these bunch of chicks out here be broke as fuck <laughs> working at goddamn checkers or rallies or whatever the hell you call it talking about i need a ceo <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, if you don't make my big Buford and shut the hell up, let's get to the next video. Let's get to the next video, guys. Uh, Daniel says, women want a man that's in control of his life. Facts, man, facts, man. And you should have it like, of course, everyone is not going to be, everyone should be striving to become a, 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 a better, I think it's a man. I think every man should be, uh, should have uh, ambition. But it's not illegal if a man doesn't have ambition. But you get what you put in. You can't be out here barely getting by as an adult and thinking you're going to pull t take care of a family and a wife. It's just not realistic. You have to get yourself together in multiple areas, and one of them is definitely financially. So let's get to the next video, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Appreciate y'all. Uh, take care, Claus. Are you taking off? Yeah, man, I know it's late over there, man. Appreciate you uh, checking in with your boy. Let's see here. Up the second one. Bear with me to see here. Uh, Dan. Let me move this face here and I grab it. Look like we got a super chat right before I get started. Let me grab it, move myself up away. Let's see here. There we got one. Who's this? Everybody got the KS picture over there. KS Legacy and Message Lives On. Happy birthday, KS. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, man. Where's my money, 
bitch! <laughs> that bite makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Shout out to you, bro. Um, yeah, man, I'm not I'm not familiar with your channel, man. Maybe it's one of the KS channels, but appreciate you, man. Long live the Godfather, no doubt. And to all my ladies in school right now. I'm a PhD. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> no, see. I see. Uh, have you seen a? Oh, is that? Oh, oh. I I think I get that now. I think I think I realize what's going on here <laughs> with, this, with this Los Angeles. Happy C Day, Kevin Sanders. We miss you. Oh, I think I go now. That C Day, B Day, bombed in type shit. I think I, I I realize now. A toast to the Godfather. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see those prayer emojis in the chat. Let me see. Rip to the Godfather in there. Let's get to the second video. Let me see. Rip to the Godfather. Let me see them prayer hands in the chat. They don't put it on live chat. For, um, they don't put it on live chat for everyone to see. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, let's get to the uh, second video here. Let me move myself out the way. I'm sure I'm going to have to move myself again. Are you ready? This is the one that went viral. I've never seen this one, though. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Good. How old are you? 35. All right, what's your disagreement? Um, the dis first of all, I want to commend you on your show. I mean, I watch you every day, so you're doing a phenomenal job. I think you you really try to highlight, and I think a lot of the, the, the listeners that I've been listening to, they don't watch your show, so they're not familiar with your content. But my disagreement would be that I do feel that there should be a better way to bring the men and women together, because from what I'm hearing, there's a lot of harshness coming um, in see. tone, and I don't. You can come I'm back in a second, bro. I'm gonna put you on timeout for a second. In. So your I'm disagreement sorry, is with my tone. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Then, then you go do it. <laughs> I respect that. I respect. That. <laughs> I can respect that. Um, I just feel that women are. I feel. To I feel. Men of, of, of that. Were you raised by your, your father? Yes. I'm asking because you keep talking about feeling, how you feel. I feel, yeah. I feel. That is a big trigger word, especially around men's content. Women talk about the, how they feel. Tell me about what you know and what you think. When he's saying, um, I'm assuming that guy says, what is C-Day? He has Los Angeles in his title. So I'm thinking like, that's like some gang shit. You know that dumb shit that they say? No disrespect to my LA folks. I just think gangs are dumb <laughs> overall <laughs> but that's what i think is going on right? when he said hey los angeles kept saying c day i'm thinking he's talking about you know they don't use b i think that, why are we wasting brain cells move on that's why i timed them out like you can come back in a second if you got your head on right well what i know is women have a very hard time with men that are as strong toned as you come across so, um, they don't seem to receive get, that there you go. As, as well as someone with a softer tone. Really? Does it matter how they receive it or does it matter what they do about it? Well, yeah. No, I got that That's the question I'm asking you. Facts, Daniel. I'm rich, bitch! What, what, yeah. what matters more? It, it matters more what they do, what they do with their information. Well, then I, then I challenge you to go look at what some of my... Uh, detractors, people who tell women what they want to hear, and go find the amount of women who tell them, you saved my marriage, I'm getting married because of you, you made me a better woman, I didn't like what you had to say, but now I'm better. Go look in their comment section, go look at how many videos the women have made to them, and come back and tell me how they rank, rank, rank next to mine. <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind reacting to this. I never saw this guy, but I always wondered what he said. Shout out to the homie T Orlando. T Orlando is representing uh, ATL. Peace up, A Town. Gabe that says merch. Oh yeah, we gotta get some. We gotta get some. Sipping ain't easy, but this guy makes it look easy. Facts, bro. Facts, man. <laughs> Shout out to you, uh, T. Orlando. Gabe Zatch, just merch. Oh, I see you, bro. I see you. I got to get some merch, man. But I didn't really know what merch to make. And then people were just telling me stuff. Like, people were telling me, Theo, you say this. You should do this. So now I, I got like three uh, ideas for some merch. So I didn't have any at first. So I got three of them. Just got to get them printed up. Shout out to the homie Woke Quill. What Woke Quill say? 
excuse me, woke quill says feel equals uh favor emotions over evidence and logic. That's dope, bro. That's dope. Hey! I've never heard that acronym before. That's great, man. You're actually right, man. Yeah. I feel, I feel. What's going on, Kofi? I see you down there in the chat. I feel. I'm telling you, I don't think I really said it that much anyway. I probably just said it, you know, in the normal flow of a conversation. I probably just used feel instead of think. But I'm telling you, once I started watching KS content, I stopped saying it. I pulled that out of my vocabulary. I don't even use the word I feel. I always say I think because it's not about what you feel. It's about what you think. And I, I have a son, but if I had a daughter, I definitely that's something I would definitely stress to, to my daughter because it seems as if a lot of uh, modern women they they think that their feelings are the most important thing. And I don't have a I, and I have a son, not a daughter, so I don't really have that dynamic. But I just think women need to know. And spend, this is is extremely off putting as you guys are uh, uh, articulating in the chat. It's extremely off putting when it's a grown ass man saying it. But I just think. People need to realize that, especially women when they're younger, that your feelings aren't your number one priority. And I would love to hear all you guys in the chat with daughters. How did you guys combat that? I'd love to see it in the chat. Appreciate the super chat, Woke Will. Let's get back to it. You're right. Uh, why, uh, my question is, as a black man, why are you coming in here making an emotional argument about tone when, you, when we got such a problem with our women? What's going on, Jay? Well, I think I'm making that argument simply because more black women you're listening to your content. I see more and more people are having discussions. Outcome, well, let me let me reframe this. Why, as a man, are you giving me the emotional argument based upon outcomes? I don't really see that many out, that, that that much of a good outcome, honestly. Um, of, of who? For me or for them? Well, black women. I mean, I no no black women. Fact, my tone, women. my tone aside, I'm getting outcomes. Yes. The people who tell them you're a queen and a goddess, are they getting women married, going back to their husbands, reframing how they look at men? You say you follow my content, right? You're right. You're right. I, I, Who's I don't getting see, the outcome? You're you're getting more outcome. I, I mean, I will. Give so you as that. a man, how are you going to come to me as a man who's getting a better outcome and tell me about a tone? Well, simply because I just feel like Again, feel you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> See, the uh, problem is when you say this, you weaken us. You sound soft saying this. You shit. sound soft, bro. But how was that? Cause you sound like to a bitch. Listen to what the men are gonna go. <laughs> I say you sound like a bitch out here, bro. <laughs> Back to what the CEO has said. Something I clicked a comment earlier about. You know, these guys are saying I feel. Yeah, these guys are saying it. These guys are saying it because they're. You know, they're. I think it's obvious they're. They're kind of weak dudes. I don't think any man should say that. And it's also, I think it's just a, a term that people use when people say they. I feel they don't actually mean all the time that it's coming from their feelings. But once you constantly say it, that's where people are going to think your thoughts originate from, opposed to originating. You know, in opposed to your your arguments being logic based, not feelings based. Shout out to. It uh, looks like we got a super chat here. From uh from Bella, you know Bella Rings. I need one just for you. Must be the money. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that drop you got, but I got this one instead. It's all about the motherfucking money. money. It's all about the motherfucking money. Shout out to Bella Rings. Make sure you guys subscribe to Bella Rings channel as, as well as Mona D, Almond Eyes, uh, my sexy strong Chelsea Love. Smoke and talk, anybody else, man. Uh, Bella Ring says, I tell women on my channel that it's okay to be in your feelings, but you have to be able to hear the message outside of your emotions, but with your logic. Facts. Bang! Bang! It's good! Facts. And that, that's the other thing as well, I think gets lost between uh, men and women, is that men don't have feelings. We have feelings. You know, I've been accused of that or saying like men are robots. We have feelings. The difference is this. The difference is this. You guys let me know in the chat. This is something that I've always said, but I could totally be wrong. Is that our feelings aren't our top priority. That's the difference. Bang! Bang! It's good! We have feelings just like everybody else. It's just our, it's not our top priority. Because we as men know that the world doesn't really give us, no one gives a shit about our feelings. That's what it is more than anything. No one cares. And we know we all know this is is, is young men and we've accepted it. So absolutely great I comment. Uh Bella, appreciate the super chat. Let's see, we look like we got another one here. Let me grab that one and we'll get right back to the video. Let's see here. Appreciate y'all showing your boy love, man, because the video will be demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to homie Big Smooth. Big Smooth in the house. 
drop my mouse. Let's see. Big Smooth says, every time you pause a clip, he got some sort of feminine disposition on his face. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, That's a great catch, bro. That's a great catch. Man. Back to it. Appreciate the super chat. That is in indeed correct. <laughs> Appreciate you, Big Smooth. <laughs> Look in the comment section after this video, and I feel, yes. I feel, I feel. I don't if if I'm getting a different outcome, which is a better outcome, damn the tone. It's the outcome. And if you're saying you see the same outcome, why do you care so much about the tone? I hate the tone police. I hate because that I shit. I think the majority of women are receiving what you're saying the right way. It's not way. for the majority of women. And Good the point. majority of women are being told they're queens and goddesses. And what is that doing for the majority of women? But if the majority of women are not receiving your content properly, if how the can majority of women are being told they're queens and goddesses and you're tens, what are the outcomes to that? <laughs> Me too, Larry. I like that one. See, this is I our problem that. as black men right here. You want me to moderate my tone when it's getting a better outcome than the moderated tones. But but my point is, I don't think it's being received by women as well as it would be if it was a tad bit better. I'm not, trust me, I'm not saying to change your complete tone. That's not what I'm saying, because I respect you. Write it out, SP. But, 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 but what you're making is a feelings-based argument. If you change your tone, then what? Okay, let's say it your way. If I change my tone, what percentage increase do you think I would get? I think you would get a lot more. What percentage uh, increase do you think I would get? At least 15 to 20. At least a 15 or 20% increase. I don't think so. And you're basing that based on what? Just based off, once again, like you mentioned, my anecdotal. Right, just, right. People just. Right, right. You have nothing to base that My on. apologies. Think of, I want you to sit there and ponder that. You want me to change what's getting outcomes, verifiable, and you're saying 15 to 20 percent based upon nothing. That's how men operate. That's how we think. See, and, 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 I'm, and I'm challenging you. I'm challenging this because there are going to be black women who are going to come along and say, "Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but we can't be like this because no other group of men thinks like this." It so is weak now. thinking. No, okay, so. no, it works. And if I'm not getting everybody, so what? I'm doing far better than the people telling their queens and goddesses. And you can't come tell me that if you moderated your message, you get about 15 to 20% more. You can't say that. I could, okay. somebody could easily come along and say he could lose 50%. But you have to understand, a lot of people may only watch your content, not because they're trying to better. But do you their... understand that they could make the same argument you could lose 50 percent facts based yes, upon their but... anecdotal evidence could they make could someone do make the same argument you could lose shut up pinball be safe on the road bro true or false i mean that's true you could always lose. <laughs> cree cree well so it's a counter argument and what i'm saying is what you're saying doesn't make any is not rooted in anything other than your feelings the reason i say that okay first of all you just said I use the word feelings too much. So I was raised in the household with both my father and a mother. So my mother is a very strong-willed person. My father is an all he's also a very strong-willed person. So, but he always taught me you catch more flies with honey than vinegar or something along that line. But anyway, it's an old school term. He always used that term. So he he always trained me to say there's a time and place to be very strong and stern and there's a time and place to kind of fall back and use your soft side. So you're watching a platform with a man who's been on for a year. Yeah. Well, grown I think from, grown, grown, grown from years, seven, years. grown from 50,000 subscribers to almost a million. Talk to him. Yes. Who's a professional salesperson who is trained in what you're talking about. Monday through Friday, I do this. Yes, I agree. And, you're, and actually, you've been you, don't think that, and you don't think that I know the things you're talking about, but I also know as a salesperson and as a marketer, as a presenter, you need to, people respond to authenticity and actual outcomes. But I understand it. I'm a marketing manager. I understand. Then, if you are, then what you're saying is not even make good business sense. Oh, he breaking him down. It's based in nothing. What I'm saying is not about business. What I'm saying is, it's about relationships. It's about. It is about business. Business. You said getting more people is about increasing an outcome. 
It's no, business. But, it can be I, both. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say with Mr. Samuels. I'll pause it right there. We got super chat. That's what I was just thinking right when he said it. Like, it can be both, man. It can be both, man. This guy's, he bit off more than he can chew, obviously. Shout out to KS Legacy and Message Lives On. Shout out to you, bro. Appreciate the super chat, man. I think you're our show sponsor now, man. He says, um, the most annoying part about this dude is that he's going to keep coming back to the, this tone message, making us look bad for real. Play taps for this simp. You know what? I don't have, you know what? I don't have taps, though. And I thought about it. I don't have taps, but I got this. This bitch. <laughs> I think that's going to suffice for right now, man. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. It's just, I feel, I feel, I feel. And that's just not... Men, we men, we can't operate like that. Like guys are saying, it just makes you look weak. It just makes you look weak, man. Uh, shout out to homie Darius. Darius repping ATL. Welcome to Atlanta, where the play play, and we ride on them things like every day. <laughs> I like this one. Jonathan Mazers with feminine vibes again, bro. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. This Jonathan Majors, dude, I've never seen this. Like he's apparently, I think he's apparently an uh, actor, but I haven't seen like any of his um, movies or anything. But apparently, he's kind of popular now. I think he's like in some of those Marvel movies. I don't really care for those too much. But yeah, what's up with homie? What's up with homie? He'd be like extra, extra, extra uh, zesty out here nowadays with these pictures and everything. Man. But back to it. Appreciate the super chat, guys. Honestly, I thought your content was about building the black community, building our community. It is. And who's getting a better outcome? Who's getting the better damn outcome? Is it Derek Jackson and Steve Harvey telling you queens and everything else? Or is it, or is it this? Have you seen any videos saying I got my, my husband because of Derek Jackson? <laughs> Derek Jackson saved my marriage. Steve Harvey did this. Have you seen any of those videos? Of course, I, I watch all that content. No, no, you've seen women come out and say I found my husband listening to these guys, following this information. No, but they do follow that stuff. An awful I didn't lot. ask you. Okay, <laughs> facts, Have Bella. you seen any videos saying that Kevin Samuels is the reason I married? They're, they're five on my channel right now. Yes, but they may not just produce that oh, stuff. Jesus. I mean, I, I understand that. You don't you produce it. You produce results. <laughs> I will grant you that. They may not produce that or put that content or information out there to the general public. That's all I'm saying. My thing is you would get more viewers, you would get a better outcome. You're gonna tell him how to run his like channel. Out, okay, you're right. I like the outcome I'm getting. I mean, this is what I'm gonna do, and it's working. And until you can show me something that's gonna work better, show me somebody who has faster growth, more views, more consistent outcomes. Show me somebody, show me one person. Give me the business reason to do it. You're right. I, I, then stop, I then I stop, mean, please. Then stop, then stop, absolutely. The homie Daniel says, fam, them people that be tone police and piss me off. I talk how I talk, my tone doesn't change anything. If what I'm saying is the truth, facts, man, facts. Hey! And what it is, Daniel, and we all, I'm preaching to the choir, but I'll say it anyway. All the tone police in is, all it is is a, is a deflection. We don't like what you're saying. Please stop what you're saying. They use the tone as a fucking excuse. I had a woman um, come in my chat once a long time ago said, and I, and, I, and I questioned, I even said it to the chat. And I only had, people could only muster up one name. I said, guys, okay, if the tone is really the issue, name me a person, male, female, whoever, who's been able to talk to black women with a tone that they would appreciate and they didn't give them any pushback. I said, name a person. We got crickets. I had one person say, um, um, Farrakhan. I had one person say Farrakhan. That's, that's about the only thing, Theo. They don't give a shit. The, the tone is just an excuse. They don't want you talking about them. They don't want, they didn't want Kevin Samuels talking about the, them, black women. He talked to bl about black men for three fucking years, digging in their ass. We just got two examples right here, and nothing was said. It was, he didn't become popular until he started talking to women, and they couldn't take the criticism, and that's what made his channel explode. He went from 50,000 subscribers to a motherfucking million, man. The tone police, to me, has always been pure goddamn deflection. What it really is, we don't like what you're saying, but we can't refute any of your takes with logic. So therefore, we can attack the only thing we can do, and that's be deflective and attack his tone. Because no one ever came out and said Kevin Samuels was wrong. No one ever came out. Even his most, even his biggest um, haters, critics, and detractors, they never came out and said he was wrong. They never attacked his goddamn argument. They attacked the man. That's why you got... Cynthia G, this bitch, 
You got the fucking and shout out to Obsidian. He, I heard him call it. You got the goddamn bald eagle. I got more hair on my head than this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I just said, just the, the state. I was gonna react to that video, but decided not to. She just has too much vitriol towards the guy. Like that screamed to me mental health. Like it might be something wrong with this person. And I've never followed Kendra G's. Uh, excuse me, Cynthia G's, not Kendra, because she's not as bad as Cynthia. She bad too. But I've never followed followed Cynthia's content to the point to like get to know her, like her personality, because that shit's like. Why would I? But yeah, man, it's all pure deflection. They don't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it then, and they don't want to hear it now. But guess what, motherfucker? You're going to keep hearing this shit, bro. They don't even know they made his legacy increase, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Let me get off this uh, soapbox. Let's get back to the video. My bad. Because I don't like when we do this as men. I try to be nice, but there's no business reason. There's no practical reason. This is in your feelings. I guess I was I was thinking your content was supposed to bring the black family back together. Bring holy men and women shit! Back. How many times have I? Can somebody else do? Let me bring somebody else on. <laughs> <laughs> he bad. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Shout out to the homie Eric Jordan. Shout out to EJ. He says, "Bro, was simping too hard." Facts, man. Facts. Bang! Bang! It's good. What is this dude on, man? I want to headbutt this motherfucker, man. What is going on? Appreciate the super chat, bro. Uh, if, if 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 people are getting if there are one, two, three, four, five couples getting married because of me. That's bringing the black family back. Go. But for five, every five. five listen, be, please, please. Five people, five couples, five couples married. Sure. Dozens of women in the comment section. I'm a better wife. All kind of shout outs across YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't like the fact that we feel like we got to talk to our women in such a sugar and spice and everything nice when we are in a crisis. Facts. Talk One to in four them. will marry. 80% of children born out of wedlock. And you're coming to me with the same liberal, weak-wristed bullshit. <laughs> Be nicer. Say it honeyed. Say it sweet. That ain't got us nothing. We, need some, really we need some good old-fashioned truth-telling. But this generation of women aren't receiving. Holy shit. You're still going. <laughs> they're not. I mean, honestly, they're not receiving it. I, I understand. Totally okay, I know this is Are you married? No, I'm not. You ever been married? No, I haven't. Got any children? No, I don't. You got a girlfriend? No. I got several. I've been married. Got kids. <laughs> Talk I to think him. I know women better than you. You want, you want to start pulling rank. I'm trying to be nice, man. Don't tell me about women if you ain't had no success with them, even fail with them. <laughs> That's for you, stupid. I got you, brother. I won't even argue with you on that. You can't argue this shit. I tried to let you off, man, but you're still pushing this point. <laughs> Rooted in nothing. Because I don't think you understand what I'm, what I'm getting to. My point is... You may have four or five or maybe even 10 people that come on and say they've gotten married, but the majority, I'm focused more on the majority. That's all. I'm just saying the majority of I'm women are not bad. receiving it. They're, they're pushing back. If you've got a thousand women and only 10 women are getting married out of a thousand, then the majority aren't receiving it. That's the only thing I'm trying to get to. Do you focus, focus on the, the women that will receive it? That's what... Mr. Samuel said, his content is not for the majority of women because the majority of women can't take the criticism. So it's not for them. Shout out to homie De DeMarco. I think I almost missed your super chat. Bitch, I'm from Baltimore. You say you was, I never see you. What part you on? I got some family on the Alameda. They had the nerve to call the Godfather zesty. What the fuck? I'm telling you, man. But it goes back. You Facts, DeMarco. But it goes back to what I was saying this a few minutes ago with uh, Daniel's chat. When they can't attack your argument, they attack the man. When they can't beat you with logic, they start name calling. That's when the sign language comes out. And I've said this before. I think somebody pointed out, I guess, uh, Bill, that's something that Bill, the comedian Bill Burr said uh, in the special. You know, you know you won the argument once they start name calling. You you 100 percent right, bro. They couldn't, they couldn't attack his argument, and they couldn't, they couldn't attack his argument, and then they couldn't even beat it from a logical standpoint. And not even just women, it was men up here. The men didn't the other men didn't want it. Uh Dr. Umar didn't want it with, K, with KS when he was alive. Uh, Boyce Watkins didn't want it with um, KS when he was alive. And I like Boyce from a financial aspect. He was on some bitch shit at, at, after uh, 
KS passed and I had to unsubscribe from him because I just thought that was it was weak sauce. But <laughs> we, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely, bro. Absolutely, man. Let me grab, I think I have one more super chat here. We'll make sure I don't miss any miss anybody. Uh, I thought I had, well, let me just double check. I think I'm clear. I think I'm clear. I just want to make sure I, I hate it. I miss you guys. Um, <laughs> hey, I, I think it was right here. I hate when I miss you guys' super chats. I make sure I go through the lives, and if I miss them, I make sure that I uh, point them out to you guys. Big Smooth says he probably pl uh, played cribbage with Medea on weekend. <laughs> Facts, bro. <laughs> and I think Big Smooth, I think you said as well in the other chat, bro, need to grow some more facial hair and do some push ups. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, get that peach fuzz. You you too old for that peach fuzz, bro. Go you a little beard, even though mine's starting to get some gray in it. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Appreciate the Once super again, check, guys. No, no, and let me let me give you and let me let you know the problem and what you're thinking. It's the bird in the hand versus in the bush. You're a marketing person. You should understand a tipping point. How, what percentage do you need to reach a tipping point? Facts, what will. No, what do you think? To reach a tipping point, at least 40 to 50 percent. 10 percent. Okay. So I don't need Facts, a thousand. Larry. When a hundred will do. You're trying to reach the masses. You'll never reach the masses. But when you reach a critical mass or a tipping point of 10 percent, the rest of the market tends to follow. Do you see people responding to my content? Do you see it starting conversations? How many platforms have you seen that have responded to Kevin Samuels? How many platforms have you seen where a black man is sitting next to a black woman and they're responding to this video? And then you look in the comment section. How many comedians are talking about it? How many people are, what are you talking about? Talk to him. I grant you that. I grant you that. You do have that. You do have a lot of, you have started the conversation. So I would definitely and now you're that. trying to tell me do it different when it's working and it's based in nothing. But I'm not if, saying if you had a business, a if you had a business and it was working and you were number one and you were making progress and destroying your competition, you would go into the shareholders and say, we're going to change and we do it this way now. Facts. They tell you you're out so of your me, gosh darn mind. Let me ask you this. So do you feel that even if you were to change slightly, not nine, not a hundred percent, but just change maybe fifteen percent that you would be able to get more. Notice the question you just asked me. Do you feel yeah. like the question you asked me is? Do you feel like if I did this, <laughs> me too, I SP. don't do business based on feelings? I'm a man. <laughs> what well, do you think? No, you changed. No. Okay. okay. Because if I did, I'd do it. Do I strike you as somebody who's not <laughs> smart enough to be able to read the tea leaves? I, I get it. It's your content. I get it. But it's not about my fighter. content. It's about what. See, what you have to understand is what you're saying is doesn't work. It doesn't work. We've tried it that way. It doesn't work. And I need more men to have some steel in their spine and start standing up and sounding more like me instead of like you. That's where you're failing your black brothers. This sounds weak. All women don't have to take us seriously. We got to go talk to them nicer. I'm going to tell them the truth and respect them as being the strong women that they are and understand that they are smart enough to be able to make a decision. One in three, one in four of you are married. Either you change the way you pick a mate or you'll buy a dog and die alone. I'm going to give them the benefit of being smart enough to use that PhD that they have and I'm know that they're not getting the outcomes that they, they were marketed that they would get by being apart from their man, by calling themselves strong, independent, I don't need no man. That ain't working. But they're not hearing you because they can't. Oh, is, bitch. All right, can't all right, all right. Oh my God, man, this dude and KS always talking about you know ladies end up buying a dog. I think someone buy cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I get I get way too much enjoyment out of my soundboard, especially that cat one. The cat one makes me lose my shit. Oh, uh, shout out to you. shout out to Z Will. Shout out to the homie Z Will. Z Will get two sound drops. 
Z172 says, poor man Hafiz up in here. <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts, <laughs> man. <laughs> Appreciate the uh, super chat, Z-Whiff. Hopefully, there ain't too much snow up there in Minnesota. Excuse Ladies me. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, we Minnesota, just have a new bro. member join the Dude Better Squad. Looks like we got a, we got a new, new, uh, a new, excuse me, a new channel member. Shout out to you, bro. It look like my namesake. Shout out to the homie Mark Cooper. Welcome to the Do Better Squad. Salute, bro. General, I salute you. Shout out to the homie Mark Cooper. He just joined the Do Better Squad. He is now a member. We done brought him into the fold. I need everybody in the chat. Let me see MC Mark Cooper. Make sure we show Mark some love in the chat. That's how we get down. Anybody who joined the Do Better Squad. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you again. I salute you, bro. General, I salute you. Let's make sure we show Mark some love in the chat, man. Appreciate it. Let's get back to it, man. No. They're, they've heard too much of men who think like you. Where are your balls? Seriously, you're saying they're not hearing you. How many, how many people in this show right now? How many people in the show right now? Uh, I can't see. I don't, I don't know. They're not hearing you. My videos average 400,000 views. God damn. They're not hearing me. They're hearing me. I got to do more work. You better believe they're I mean, hearing, hearing you. Based on, I mean, hearing you. All right, based man. Off you got it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And this is what I mean about power, money, and sex. I'm not going to argue with you, bro. But you got nothing to base what you're saying on. You got nothing to base what you're saying <laughs> on except feelings. And I respect your feeling, but. I don't, but I don't, I don't do things based on feelings. Facts, good. Yeah. And even if I did, I don't feel like what you're saying is going to work because I've seen that it doesn't. He cried in the car, Larry. 25,000 people here. 25,000 people. What you're chat. saying, man, what you're saying is you, what you're saying, brother, is you've got nothing other than a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but are they watching for the That's a good one, Jay. Who gives a shit? Watching? They're watching. That's the point. They're watching. And how many women have come? See, if you were really a watcher of mine, you would know that women come over and say, you know what? Facts woke well, quick. I was I thought this, but until I watched an entire video myself, and then I heard the logic. I heard the facts. I heard the stats. I heard this. I've heard that. I mean, I've watched you for the last then, few years when you started out with men. So I've been watching your content. Then understand years. that it's working. And now you're just saying, well, if you just tweaked it a little bit, you get more. Well, you know what? The Colonel got 11 herbs and spices. Well, if you put 13 in, you get about a 20% bump. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> formula works. Great analogy. And I've still got a man who's sitting here telling me, nah, I don't feel like it's going to work that way. And I'm asking you based on what? And you haven't said anything except I just, I just, I just, I just feel this way. All right. Based in what? I'm based listening. Off, based in what? Based off of the conversations that I have with women that, that. <laughs> he do look like Martin. He do favor him. And I'm an advocate saying, hey, listen to They're, him. They're just the content. Are they over 30? Yes. Are they tend to do they tend to be overweight? Some. Any of them have children out of wedlock? <laughs> they all do. I got you. Any of them college graduates? I got you. I, I see where you're going. But if they listen to me, do you think they would get better outcomes? If they actually paid attention. Right. Do you think that do you think I'm the first person that told him if you lost some weight, you'd have a better health and get a better outcome? But that's the problem. They're did, not no, 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 it's not the problem. See, it's not the problem of information. I'm rich, See, you bitch. just defeated your own argument. It's not the information. They've been given the information several different ways. The problem is they've been given the information spoon fed and soft. And you know how many people watch me and can't stand it, but they're still sitting there saying, I can't stand it, but they listen. And mm -hmm. then they're wondering, why are they watching them? Because the, the women are getting something out of it. And what I don't understand is why as a man, you're not on this side saying, yeah, instead of saying softer. Facts, man. Bang! Bang! It's good! 
Bro, I should have I should have watched this clip. Like I said, that blind reaction. I've never seen this clip. I never watched. It. I should have watched this clip a long time ago. Shout out to the homie Darius. He said he gonna cry in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. Fucking tears, crying, crying glitter and shit, man. Back to it, bro. We should be going harder. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, Darius. We are behind. ATL, Black ho. boys are reading at a fourth grade level. These very mothers you're talking about, how are their sons doing? What's going on, Wes? Would you want to be stepdaddy to any of them? <laughs> then don't tell me about softening a message when we're failing our next generation of boys. And we're failing because they hear men who are sitting back saying, eh, be nicer. No other race of men has to be this damn nice. But, I don't, but no other race is as combative with one another as we are. One on LP. No other, race of, how... no other race of men have need to be stronger than we do. See, this is where it falls on us. Brother, I keep saying the problem is brothers who think like you, you're too weak for this fight. I guarantee you this, men who go into a place <laughs> talking like me walk away with more of the women than you do. Regardless as to how they look, women follow leadership and strength. Or do you disagree? I agree with that. They do follow strength. I mean, in the business world, strength always comes out on top. So, so I, why can't you? Why can't black men be strong? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to. Jay is in the chat going ham, calling this dude Martin. <laughs> he got Bilal and Daryl chill. Had beef after he bumped it to the table and made the record skip. <laughs> I got that reference. That's a house party reference. Shout out to you, man. He's going ahead with the chat. Said he looked like Martin Lawrence, man. Stop, bro. Because I think we deal with a different generation of women nowadays. They don't really? see it. Did you look at the last president you had? <laughs> you can chuckle all you want to, but he inspired people to, to riot on the Capitol, didn't he? Yeah, you're right. Obama couldn't even, you know, what did Obama get us? <laughs> Don't tell me about their generations. See, this is where black women make a valid critique. It is our responsibility not to worry about the motherfucking generation, the price of tea in China, gas, how tight your shoes are. We got to grab our balls and be fucking bitch. men. Facts. Even the ones that weren't raised. I wasn't raised this way. You have to make yourself a man worth being followed. And you don't do it with nice words. You do it by grabbing your balls and getting ready to fight. Because if we can't fight our women, how the fuck we gonna fight the world? Facts, man. God damn. He bang! Bang! It's good! Yeah, I definitely should have saw this clip, you know, uh, much sooner. Shout out to the homie Salty uh, Fighter Biker. Salute to you, bro. It's all about the motherfucking money. It's all about the motherfucking money. Just hit the $1 super chat. Just a straight love, man. Shout out to all my vets, man. Let's get back to it. Appreciate you, bro. They don't respect us because our women don't respect us. You know how many times I've been in corporate America where people have asked me, how do you put up with that Janice is a hell of a spitfire, such and so forth. They laugh at us. I've been on golf courses and in, in, in boardrooms. They're like, I could never put up with a woman like Brenda. Wow, my, Helen is so sweet. She's a spitfire. That, that spitfire is a way for saying uh, something else. Mm -hmm. They hold our manhood cheap. Because we because we are we are so weak that our women are walking around with long colored fingernails, furry slippers, pajamas, and bonnets, weighing more than men at our height, cussing at us. And you want to be nice to that? Fuck that. Bang! Bang! It's good. Talk to him. Fuck that. Let me get up. Move my face. Appreciate it though, man. Time, <laughs> had to go. Time was running out on that. Was man, that? I understand where he was coming from. I'm gonna let KS but cook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a hard pause right here because I don't want this to get sliced. The United States long held policy is you don't negotiate with terrorists. 
I refuse to go like to be be like that one brother saying that black women are are facts enemies. facts mop. That's how you get there by abdicating power. <laughs> I refuse to do that. That's how we get there by saying, well, you know, sugar and spice and everything nice. When what they really want is a man to say no. That's not right. And sometimes you'll say no and you may be dead ass wrong, but you still need to maintain your masculine frame so they at least can say, shit, at least he was, at least he stood on something. I don't mean, one of these noodle back, wishy washy ass. They don't want that. Facts. And I've been on both sides. And when I was that way, I got horrible outcomes in the long term with money and what resources. Up, that's why I don't sit down and ever say that it's their fault. Facts, we man. have to man the fuck up. Facts, Kevin. And let me grab the super chat real quick. Uh, Kevin says, <clears throat> excuse me, KS was on point. Not just in this instance, we as black people need this kind of truth told to us. Facts, man. And I've said this, I've not said this before on my channel, but I'll say it again. I listen to, oh, I, listen, I used to listen to, um, I used to listen to a lot more podcasts, but my whole point is that there's a basketball player on ESPN. His name is Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose, Fab Five. He's from my city, from Detroit, all that kind of good stuff. Great. I heard Jalen say something once and it stuck with me. You know, he talked about, you know, being team, having teammates in, you know, having teammates being a professional basketball player. And he says, everyone's personality is different. Some people need a pat on the back, but some people need a kick in the butt to get them motivated. And we have, what, what is it? Um, I can't think of, I'm, I'm um, butchering the analogy. I can't think of the first part of it, but some people need, I, you give some people a hand or flowers and then. Other people, you need a stick. I'm, I know I butchered that analogy, but you guys get my point. Everyone's not, everyone that doesn't take criticism the same way. Some people, you can just tell them. Some people, you have to say, hey, hey, get your head out of your ass. And it seems like we're so scared to do that. Or or if you do that towards a woman, that you're wrong. And, and everything is, everything is um, not criticism. Everything is an attack now. Everything is labeled as an attack. If you say, hey, man, hey, Theo, man, you probably could uh, afford to lose a couple pounds. Oh, you're attacking me. You're attacking me. No, man, I want you to live a little bit longer, bro. It's just, everything is an attack now, and that's just unfortunate. Shout out to homie Eric Jordan. He says, uh, uh, EJ says, KS gave bro a, a, a real nigga wake-up call. Facts, man. Facts, bro. Facts. Bang! Bang! It's good! That dude probably did more for this man. In his 30s, than his father did to him, man. So that's absolutely right, man. Mm. I wanted to chaos cook some more after this. Good show. <laughs> we're going to do it again on Monday, on Wednesday night. We talk about money. We talk about the M. I wanted to we see if he went in some more. It's going to be money. Be prepare to get your feelings hurt. What's going on, Sheila? Because money matters. Because money matters. Because money matters. Then Friday night, we're going to round it out. To Friday, uh, same thing on Instagram, same format. Gentlemen, you got to be ready with your disagreements about something I talk about. Be concise. It's not your time to, you know, you got to be quick. A lot of people, a lot of people. There was there was over 100 people trying to jump in this show at any one given time. I appreciate everybody showing up, but uh, that's what we got to do. Until the next time. I like how to turn this down. I think it's too loud. Appreciate all y'all rocking with your boy early on a Monday. Let's get it, man. Oh, I got to do it a couple times before we got out of here. I didn't think I hit it yet. My bad, because I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking. Can't keep your eyes off my face. Uh, uh, right now. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> BD says, I can only take criticism from strangers. Family be tripping when everybody wants to be right. Facts, man. Facts. And everyone has to be open to criticism, man. But I think nowadays, simple criticism is labeled as an attack. Like, you're attacking me. You're No, I'm slowly getting better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sheila. I know you say you were, uh, you were you're sick. Hopefully, you're feeling better. I'm slowly getting better. Uh, still got no voice, though. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, definitely uh, make sure you... Uh, 
try to heal up. I used to be like that. Yeah, man, you have to be open to it, man. People are defensive. Um, a lot of people are defensive. I think a lot of people have to work on that being so defensive, man. And s stop taking everything as a slight. And and I said that as well. I said that yesterday. I had a woman in the comment section. She was saying, this was just the other day. She was saying how she don't know any black men that don't have children. And I said, well, 50% of men are childless. And I was like, we just did a live the other day with every... Well, I had every man that was over 40 with no children raised their hand. You had man after man after man after man raising their hand. I was like, you can check my live. You know, you know, it's just, I, man, we just talked about this. And she said, well, people in the, in the live can, uh, people in live chats be lying. And I was like, okay, so I already know we were starting off from a disingenuous place. And then what I said to her, I was like, what you know, what you could do is look the numbers up for yourself. You had, you're on, you're on, uh, you're on the internet right now. Look it up for yourself. I was like, but I, what I've noticed is that a lot of times women tend to, it doesn't matter how many, the data, the facts, the statistics you put in front of them, they tend to disregard it for their feelings. And I just, you know, said that to her. And then she just went to attacking me personally. Like, you don't know me, yada, yada, yada. Call my son a bastard. <laughs> because I said I wasn't child. She made the assumption that I had my child on a wedlock, which is not the case. And then once I told her that, of course she scampered the fuck away because I think like most women are cowards, but they, they they don't need to be like manly, but I just hate that shit. Don't don't make an accusation. I correct you, then you bounce, of course. But appreciate all you guys rocking with me today, man. Uh, make sure uh, make sure you guys tune in tonight. Let's see what's going on at uh, KS's channel at 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Um, I think CL said in the comments earlier she doesn't know if there's gonna be new. Con I think it's just gonna be new content, or if his daughter's getting on camera. I think that's what she said. I just that's just my assumption. I just think it's probably gonna be new unreleased content. I'm still seeing content that I haven't seen before and it's probably a year or two years old now. There's no telling what, how much content they got in the vault that was just unreleased. So, And then I also think they want to put a stop to those channels who are simply re-uploading this content without reacting to it. Uh, DeMarco says, try to tone, tone police stuff and basically training. Facts, bro. Facts, bang, man. Bang! It's good! <laughs> Facts, bro. You're right. Oh, excuse me, drill sergeant. I don't like the way you're saying I feel like I'm being attacked. But like, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> you better fall in. What the hell are we talking about here? Facts, bro. Facts. That's a great point, man. That's a great point. Let me grab this other super chat here. That's a great point, bro. Yeah, at 9 p.m. tonight. 9 p.m. tonight. Yeah, they're supposed to be this. So I'll definitely be in the chat. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I had one more here. Let me grab this one. Oh, well, let me grab it. I appreciate all you guys kicking in today. I got a super, I got a super sticker from Randall, but I can't grab it for whatever reason. I see, oh, there you go, Randall. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. What happened to Troy Ave? I remember that one song, damn near a decade ago. <laughs> you want to go down a rabbit hole? YouTube, what happened to insert rapper? Man, it's hundreds, if not a thousand people that you forgot used to make music. Facts, Theo. Uh, she came into the door line. Yeah, facts, man. Facts, bro. Like, come on. When you said that off top, she when she said, "Oh, well, you, know, you got people in the, in the chatter line," that tells me multiple things. One, you're being disingenuous. Two, that's telling me that you're already coming into it from a um, from a negative sound. Uh, excuse me, a negative place. If you're making the automatic assumption that those men who are in my chat, who are over forty and childless, raising their hand, they were all lying. What would be their motivation to lie? To oh, what they're capping for their internet? Men over forty? When we're just having a general conversation, there's no need to lie about that. But it's a negative aspect that she already had in her mindset before she even started the conversation. And then to call my son a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Little Theo ain't got nothing to do with this. But she, but because I said a lot of women prefer feelings over facts no matter how much data you put up in front of them she thought i was talking about her personally and i said i wasn't talking about you i was talking about women overall and that's another thing women need to know how to the men as well how to uh differentiate i apologize i always stumble on that word <laughs> <laughs> between someone criticizing people overall opposed to talking about you individually and that's something that's i've never I would say I never struggle with that's 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 not something that most people should struggle with but they struggle with that because they're defensive their own edge and think it, someone's always talking about them you guys ever work with somebody like that I used to have a supervisor like that crazy ass chick her name was Abby and she would think like literally like if me and, if me and Project Leroy was at the, a water cooler shooting the shit giggling she would come from the other side of the office what are you guys laughing about 
laughing about a conversation we had. She would make, think everyone was talking about her, man. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Oh, yeah, no doubt. We're definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate all you guys kicking in, though. Let's see. Oh, shout out to Joe. I didn't even see this, man. I'm sorry. I didn't even see this, man. I didn't even see this. Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> Joe says, how crazy that your son was called a bas a basset. It is like they know single uh, parenthood is bad. Facts, Joe. Great Bang! observation. Bang! It's good. Great observation, Joe. And I appreciate the super chat. Joe's been my, uh, rocking with me. I think Joe said he found my channel when I had 300 subs, man. So shout out to Joe. Shout out to Florida. And shout out to all my uh, vets as well. Um, yeah, man. And, 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 it, and it was funny. And it was funny, Joe, what I thought about that because what I said was, you know what, fifty percent of, of men are childless, and I and I and I put in this, in that comment, I'm not though. So I'm not trying to act like I'm throwing myself in there because I do have one child. I don't have any more. I don't have multiple by multiple women. But yeah, but she made the assumption that because I had a child that my son has. Because she said I'm not listening to, to somebody who, who who put a bastard out here. Like bitch, I was married. What are we talking? <laughs> Which tells me one, you don't follow the channel because you don't know that about myself, and then two, you're making the assumption. And just because, and I, I, I didn't say this in the chat, but this is what I was thinking. Just because every black man you know ain't shit, and every black man in your circle has multiple children by multiple women, it doesn't it doesn't make every single other black man that you don't know that same character. We can talk about these weaved up, overweight, um, hood booger, ratchet ass women all day. These weave queens, we can talk about that shit all day. They're a horrible representation for black women. But I possess enough critical thinking. Me and Mo uh, Mona D, we were talking about this yesterday. I possess enough critical thinking to, to understand that even though there's a lot of those women out there, I'm from Detroit, a, a majority black city. It's, it's, I can't, I can't go to the gas station without tripping over a weaved up hood bugger. That's just kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what it is. But still, I possess enough critical thinking to understand that there are still beautiful feminine black women in our society, or women overall. Those women don't represent every single black woman, and that's the I'm biggest really distinction that I noticed between the, the sexes. Black women think all men are that way because of King Pookie, the guy we reacted to with the seven kids, seven, seven baby mamas. They think all men are like that. No, there are some men like that, but they're not, they don't represent everyone. Those are the men you know. The same way if, if every chick I, I dated had multiple children by multiple men, and I'm wifing every one of them, it's just like, damn, damn, all these bitches coming with kids, bro. <laughs> no, I need to stop shopping out of the discount bin and go find myself a quality woman. Well, maybe that's just me, man. Let's see. Uh, what up, though, from Detroit, ordinary black guy? Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, man. My hometown brother, man. You know I got to drop that love. Welcome to Detroit City. I said welcome to Detroit City. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. What up, though, from Detroit, man? Oh, no doubt, bro. I've seen you. I've seen you around, man. If not even in my ch chat, bro. I think I've seen you in other people's chat, man. So good to have you, man. Shout out to all my Detroit people. I'm going to do it again. Everybody in the D. What up, though? Hey, Welcome to Detroit City. I said, Welcome to Detroit City. Pinball say you preaching now. <laughs> That's always funny to me, man, because I watch other people's content so much that it's hard for me to catch. Like, I was watching Bella Rings. I'm like, Bella Rings going in. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's always funny when I end up doing it myself, man. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Are all. Are, are all women the same? I, I, yeah, man, I, and that's and that's what I'm saying. Shout out to Brian. Make sure you guys check out Smoke and Talk. Brian, uh, Mr. Severe, Selena, uh, uh, the, the Masons. That's what I call y'all, the Masons. Shout out to y'all, man. Big Bo Brian got him a, um, Big Bro uh, Brian got him a good one in Selena, man. She good people. Y'all good people. Shout out to Baltimore, man. Yeah, Baltimore. Baltimore Shout out to Brian Barb. That man's a channel member. Make sure you guys salute him. He says, why can't do listen? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Facts. Uh, so, the Salty Fighter Biker. I'm going to have to call you SFB, man. <laughs> he says, the men that are, the men that, that they are running up on. Facts, man. Facts, exactly, man. That doesn't represent all black people. It's like, I I'm sorry. I'm just at a loss for words because I don't understand why this is something that needs to be talked about. Just because you dated a dude that was lying, it doesn't make every single man a liar. It's common sense. It's just the man that you dated with. You know, I'm divorced. My ex wasn't terrible. You know, our marriage, did, our marriage didn't work out. She wasn't terrible compared to some of these hood boogers I see uh, reacting to this type of content. But still, I understand that the flaws that she had in it, and, she, and, and vice versa, she could say the same thing as well about me. The flaws that she have, I know that doesn't apply to all women. I know there's 
um, women out there who have critical thinking, who are able to suppress their feelings to a certain point and use logic when the time comes for it. There's women out here who possess these same qualities, who don't who don't have a million kids, who aren't weaved up. You know, because that's my that's the old thing. That's the, that's the old thing. <laughs> Number one thing I hate more is that fake goddamn hair. I hate that shit. But I'll go on that rant and I'm not trying to. But that's my whole point, man. And, and these women have to understand that. Because thinking about that, if you think all men ain't shit, shout out to you, Javon, I see you. If you think all men ain't shit, what does that say about your family? And that's the other thing. I've said this before. They will always talk that men ain't shit, men ain't shit, or all men are this, or all men are that. You know that includes your daddy, right, you dumb bitch? <laughs> or or the worst, or the worst that, that, that I've heard women say that like all men are like rapists. You know, like we all assault people like, what? Are you kidding me? I reacted to a video when a woman said that on Fresh and Fit. She said that, what did she say? Seven out of 10 women were assaulted? But these women, when they say these things about black men, they never take two seconds to realize you're talking about the same men in your family. So if all men are rapists or things like that, how long your brother been raping people? Did he grape you, motherfucker? <laughs> that means that you're, the black men in your family that you talk, that means they ain't shit. Your uncle, your daddy, your brother. You got four brothers and all four of them ain't shit. No, but they don't ever stop to think about that because if you do, they'll, if you do, and I've done this several times when they accuse black men of things, you say, would well, that apply to their family? And you, they like a deer in the headlight like, because these stupid motherfuckers never thought of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we can't submit to weak men. Facts, facts, facts. Um, November 7th, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Their sons too. Mona D, their sons too. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Their son as well. They picked him. Jay Will says they picked him so they can't complain. The problem is their terrible choices. Yeah, man. Exactly. Exactly. And I was on. Um, I was on. Shout out to the homie uh, JVJ. I was on this panel for a little bit yesterday. I don't really do panels that much. Uh, and I hopped on with uh, Jay and I, we talked a little bit. But then Jay and another dude got the argument and I pulled out. That's why I don't do panels, man. I don't. I, I don't do panels to be arguable, motherfuckers. But anyway, the point that I was making on the panel was that. Um, we were talking about King Pookie, the dude, the seven kids, seven baby mamas. I'll give you baby mama one or two, and that's what we're alluding to. But I feel zero sympathy for, I feel zero fucking sympathy. Let me stop the goddamn music and make sure that I'm heard loud and good. I give, I have zero sympathy for women who get with men that have multiple children by multiple women. And you know for a fact, he wasn't taking care of the three and four kids he had before your reckless ass came around. If he already had baby mamas two through three, and then you become four through seven, that's on you, bang, man. Bang, bang, it's good. And that's the exact point that I was uh, trying to make yesterday. We going almost two hours. I'm going to go ahead and, and get off here. I'll be back tomorrow. Appreciate all you guys rocking with me, uh, kicking in, because this video <laughs> definitely is. I'm not even going to monetize it. It's just it's no point. It's no point. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate all y'all rocking with me. And I'm going to be down here in the chat, too. And I'm going to try to end my stream not in a mid-sentence, because that's what Style Point said. Watch it end this shit anyway in a mid-sentence. So I'm going to pause for a second. It's still going to do it. <laughs> I'll catch y'all tomorrow.